states be responsible for the loss of Afghan civilian lives that could happen after no. the military exit? No, no, no. It's up to the people of Afghanistan to decide on what government they want, not us to impose the government on them. No country's ever been able to do that. Keep in mind, as a student of history, as I'm sure you are, never has Afghanistan been a united country. Not in all of its history. Not in all of its history. Mr. President, if this isn't a mission accomplished moment, what is it? No, there's no mission accomplished. The mission was accomplished in that we get us, got Osama bin Laden, and terrorism is not emanating from that part of the world. When I made the decision to end the U.S. military involvement in Afghanistan, I judged that it was not in the national interest of the United States of America to continue fighting this war indefinitely. I made the decision with clear eyes, and I'm briefed daily on the battlefield updates. But for those who have argued that we should stay just six more months, or just one more year, I ask them to consider the lessons of recent history. In 2011, the NATO allies and partners agreed that we would end our combat mission in 2014. In 2014, some argued one more year. So we kept fighting, and we kept taking casualties. In 2015, the same, and on and on. Nearly 20 years of experience has shown us that the current security situation only confirms that just one more year of fighting in Afghanistan is not a solution, but a recipe for being there indefinitely. It's up to the Afghans to make the decision about the future of their country.